What's up? <laughs> All right, Dr. Ken Knight. Hi, Dr. Ken people. Hi. Hi, babies. So yeah, I'm Joey Keen. Thank you, I'll take it. I, uh, I am also a stand-in at Dr. Ken. <laughs> Hope for applause. So, um, yeah, so what a stand-in is, is I stand in <laughs> till the real actor gets there. And then I step into the shadows. <laughs> It's a metaphor for my love life. <laughs> I stand in till the real relationship gets there. <laughs> and then I step into the shadows. <laughs> that's okay, Oh, that's so sad. He's single. It's fine. The consolation to being single is I don't have to do this whole act, like my friend Karen the other night, she's like, oh my God. So I was having sex last night with Frank, and it was so good. And then like we went to bed, and like I woke up in the middle of the night because he like farted. <laughs> and like you know what? When you love someone, he like don't even care. <laughs> I don't want that for myself. I mean, being a stand-in, aging, that's enough to do on my own. <laughs> yeah, I just had a birthday. It was amazing, I survived. <laughs> Ironic applause, I get it. It's fine. No, but do you know how old I turned? I do, ball change. <laughs> no, seriously, I'll tell you. Let's be honest. I'm in my gay 60s. Hello. And what that means is, I'm over 30 and I rollerblade. Thank you. And I don't know if you can tell from the flavor of my voice, but I don't really resonate with the Trumps. I don't get that. I don't. I don't. Except for one of those people. I actually like one of them. Melania. <laughs> oh, I see you, bitch. <laughs> fucking loud and clear, that fucking bitch, right there. Same, same, bitch. <laughs> That's right. I wake up in the morning, I look at the news, I'm like, wow. She's gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Melania wakes up, she rolls over, she's like, oh my god, I'm just going to have to deal with that. <laughs> At least we know what we're getting with her, you know? Star fucker. <laughs> she stays in her lane, we got that. Everyone else is like shifty, she's like, no. I have sex with celebrity. <laughs> same, same, Melania, same, same. Melania and I is that Melania no standards. She's into Job of the Hut. <laughs> All fuck. Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, Melania has no standards. I do. <laughs> I'll fuck up to like a Jeff Goldblum level. <laughs> it's disgusting, but I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I reflected on my birthday for like three seconds and I was like, yeah, I'm shallow. I get me, ball change. <laughs> so there's two kinds of star fuckers, I'm both. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, there's the Melania, someone who will just fuck a famous person. <laughs> Which I've already described, you know, Jeff Goldblum, I I'm in. <laughs> And then there's the kind of star fucker who's just gonna talk about celebrities all the time. 
I know this person, I know that person. Let's do a show and tell. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joey, what's your name? Sarah. Hi Sarah, lovely to meet you. Thank you for coming to the Ice House tonight. I have worked with Betty White. <laughs> See how I just worked that in? <laughs> I do that every day. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I stay in my lane. Now, um, just before I wrap it up here, can we just give it up one more time for Marco and the rest of the comics tonight? I fucking love you, Marco. God bless you. But I just wanted to come out and say hello to everyone, let everyone know what my lane was. And I just wanted to let you know, you know, if you see me at a party and I'm not talking to you, it's probably because A, I'm talking to someone famous, so shush. Shush. Or B, I'm talking to my dream person to talk to. It means that I have found her. It means that I have gone to a party with Soon Yi. <laughs> if I ever get to see Soon Yi at a party, it's Christmas. I will walk up to her and I will say, Soon Yi, bitch, I get you. <laughs> if Woody Allen were my dad, I would have fucked him too. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Everybody!